Hi, my name is Huzaipa and I am from the support team of Tradetron.tech. Today I am going to be showing you how to connect your uh, 5 PESA account with Tradetron in order to uh, conduct algo trades. So, uh, connecting any broker account on Tradetron is quite simple. Uh, you need to first uh, sign in to the website and after that uh, you can go to the top right corner where you will see your name. So, click on your name and you will see brokers and exchanges. So, click on brokers and exchanges and out there a new page like this will appear. Uh, out here click on add broker and uh, this page will extend into the manage brokers page. Um, out here you can select 5 PESA. So you need to make sure that you are selecting 5 PESA and not 5 PESA symphony. So um, after you click on 5 PESA uh, you will see uh, another uh, link out here. So this is the uh, setup link for uh, 5 PESA. So other than the video you can also uh, have a look at uh, this uh, this detailed document in order to understand how to connect your uh, 5 PESA account. This is a step by step guide. Um, so once you are here you now need to switch to the website of the 5 PESA. So I am now on the 5 PESA website. I will quickly put in my uh, login credentials and log in to the website. So you can see I have logged into the website. And uh, now um, you need to go to the top right corner where you see your name. So this is the old, uh, this is the new website. But on the old website also you can, uh, it's it's pretty much the same thing. You need to go to the top right corner, and uh, you will find utilities. Within utilities, you need to look for trading APIs. So just click on trading APIs, and out here you will um, you will find something called get API keys. So click on get API keys. And these are all the API credentials that are built for your account uh, at 5 PESA. So now it's a simple, um, a sim it's very simple like match the following. You need to um, just uh, look at uh, what are the credentials for each one of these and whatever is required out here in the broker and exchanges page. So I'll simply copy paste it. So um, like uh, out here you see app name. So I'll click on copy. And out here, Tradetron requires the app name, so I'll click on paste. Um, similarly, uh, there's something called user ID. So out here, you'll see user ID has been mentioned. I'll copy it and I will paste it. Similarly, there's something called password. So I will uh, look for password out here, copy it and paste it here. Uh, similarly, there's something called user key. So I'll look for user key, copy it and paste it here. Um, after that you'll see auto login uh, and different credentials that are asked. So out here you'll, you'll have to add encryption key. So encryption key is also available out here. So copy and paste. And after that uh, there is something called app source. So uh, just look for app source, copy and paste. Um, now, uh, there are three more credentials that are asked. Uh, these are the three credentials that you use while logging into the website. So, uh, so when you are on this page, the login page, uh, the credentials that you use out here are the same credentials that you need to add out here. So, uh, the web client code, I'll just put in my web client code. So, uh, this can be uh, an email address. Uh, so, for most clients, using the email address should work fine. Uh, however, for some people, uh, the email address doesn't work. So you can put the uh, eight digit uh, numeric code that is your web client code. So I'll quickly put in my email address. So out here there's web password. I have to use the same password that I have used that uh, on the uh, website on the uh, login website of 5 pesa z so i'll put in my password and here there is a web date of birth so uh, you have to remember that this date of birth that you need to put has to be in uh, yyyy uh, mm dd format so first will be the year then will be the month and then will be the uh, date of your uh, birth so uh, i'll just put in my date of birth And uh, that's that's about the details you have to put in. And after that, you need to click on save. So I'm clicking on save.
So now that uh, the broker has been added, you need to generate a token for the same. So the token is basically a way by which you can uh, authenticate your uh, Traytron account at 5 pesas in. So in order to generate the token, simply go to the um, triangular section out here and just click on this uh, regenerate token and your token will be generated. Uh, our last step would be to check the connection uh, of the broker if everything has been uh, put in correctly or not. So uh, in order to do that, you can simply open a new tab and you can look for itc.tradetron.tech as a, a link. So once you click on that link, you will be directed to this strategy, um, which will fire one share of ITC and it will square it off after one minute. So as you can see, I've duplicated this strategy in my account I'm a, and I'm going to my strategies. Um, and I will uh, deploy it on live auto. So I've selected my broker type as broker as 5 pesa and I've clicked on deploy. Um, now I'll go to the deployed page and you can see that the uh, deployment of this, uh, this uh, strategy has been made. So normally within one minute of uh, deploying this strategy, one share of ITC should get fired and uh, the same should be squared off after one minute as well. Um, if you do get an error execution out here um, and uh, in the notification log, if you uh, see something related to token, so if you go to the notification log and if you see something related to token out here, um, in that case, you can simply regenerate the token. Um, a token is nothing but a way for uh, by which you can um, you can authenticate uh, Tradetron uh, at 5 pesas end. So uh, regenerating any token or refreshing a token can directly be done from here. Go to the broker and exchanges page, click on this triangle and your token would get regenerated again. After which you can uh, try, um, try placing the order again. Um, so, uh, so that's about it. Uh, currently this uh, strategy will not fire any trades because it's a, a holiday uh, at the moment. Uh, but during market hours, your trades should get fired. So I hope uh, this video helped you. Uh, however, if you are stuck anywhere or, uh, you, uh, or uh, you are not able to get through with this, please feel free to drop us an email at support at the rate of tradetron.tech and we would be more than happy to help you. Thank you.